Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so as you can see today, I am um, summoning my inner Missy. Missy from Doctor Who, season 9, 10, I don't think she's in 8. No, but basically I am a massive fan of Doctor Who and uh, not last weekend, the weekend before, was the final episode of season 10, which saw, spoiler alert, uh, which saw Peter Capaldi trying to stop his regeneration and then the first Doctor coming in, but also as well, spoiler alert, <laughs> um, also as well, um, we see John Sims, Martha and Missy, um, Michelle Gomez, um, Martha stab each other in the back which is ironic and I loved it I absolutely loved it and I love the character of Missy so this is homage to her um, also as well in this video I'm going to be showing you my new my new station my beautiful new station uh, which is just behind the camera I'm doing this because I'm trying to gesture to it but I will put a little little uh, snippet of um, of my new station in there basically so without further ado let's get on with the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please listen to my babbling on because I love it I love having a word uh, having a chat with you guys because it's just it's just so refreshing I don't know why in my own sanctuary in my own nutty sort of world so this is my new setup now um, it is a work in progress I've still got a lot to do but it's um, it's really nice because it's somewhere I can come make videos for you guys um, and just relax and do my makeup and I I absolutely love it this is just it's just totally me it's just completely me and um, so what I'll do give me two seconds I'm going to move you oh I'm moving right so here we go that is my other half side of the room <laughs> um, so but if, as you can see this is my dresser I've got some I put I paid it, put some new knobs on. Love my button knobs there, and that's on a big one. So this is where all my makeup, my hair stuff, everything goes. Gorgeous big mirror. And um, I've got my girls, and I've got my third sister here. Um, I've got the stuff I use on a daily basis over here, and my fiance has put in these cool LED lights uh, behind the mirror, and this is the sensor where I can like turn it on from. Um, it, for some strange reason, it doesn't always work, and I don't understand why. Um, and so, um, and this is from my Hindu. Kiss the miss goodbye, and I've got it above there just to show that I've got uh, I've got my girls around me. Um, so basically, that is my new setup. I absolutely love it. It's it's, it's my little sanctuary. Um, but enough about this. I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick show. Um, now onto the video. I'm going to do is recreate uh, Missy from um, Doctor Who. Now she's an awesome character. She made an impact in like season nine, season ten, um, and I am I'm quite a big fan of Doctor Who. Not as much as my other half. My other half absolutely loves it. Um, he's a massive, 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 massive fan. Um, it's what you call a Whovian. Yes what you call a Whovian. So um, he's, um, I've, I just thought it would be really nice to pay homage to uh, Missy, um, to the Master, uh, to the Master and um, just a really great ending for the season finale to actually do something like this uh, because I am gutted that Peter Covaldi is actually leaving but I'm so excited to see who's next, whether it be a woman or a man. Let's get on with it. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the skin with my favourite baby skin. It's beautiful. So I'm just going to get that on the... Just got a little dollop on my hand there. And uh, so obviously there's going to be Hurians hopefully watching this. Um, I just want to uh, get a chat going. Let's get a chat going. So, uh, see who likes who. Who's your favourite doctor? Um, I have to admit, my doctor will always be David Tennant because that's when I started watching Doctor Who. Now people go, oh, you're a newbie, you're a new Whovian. Eh. But it's, it, 
I didn't know it existed until David Tennant came on the scene for me in Casanova and then heard he was going to be the Doctor so I was like, mm, a new one, a new one that um, David Tennant's going to do so I, that's when I started watching it I do like Christopher Eccleston um, I, one of my old, my favourite old, older Doctors is definitely Tom Baker I absolutely love Tom Baker and also Peter Davidson I quite like him as well so it was it's kind of a mixture of loads of things. So um so that's my skin primed. And uh, the next thing I'm gonna be using is uh, I've told you about this before Impalable Total Cover. Um <laughs> with my old baby skin lid there. I can't believe it fitted on. It's a completely different different thing. Now she is subtle, she's not um uh, big 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 makeup. So um I'm I'm really going for subtleness here. So I've got beauty blender absolutely um, as I said uh, in previous videos, give me some tips. I'd love some tips on software. I'd love some tips on how to get my sound better because I still don't think the sound is correct. Don't think it's right. Um, don't know why. But it's not right. Um, don't know why. I haven't got a clue why. Um, so the next thing I'm going to be used is Super Stay 24 Hour <coughs> nearly lost my mascara then. Uh, Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer by Maybelline. Uh, it looks like that, and I'm going to be using shade shade. Oh, here we go. Sh shade Light to Beige Claire. Don't know what Claire's got to do with it, but hey ho. Um, so um, as I say, I'm just keeping this, trying to keep this so natural because she if you look at the pictures she is not she's not a makeup babe she's just so subtle and just so it's all in the facial movements it's all in the it's all in the way she presents herself um so that i think that's why i like this so much uh don't get me wrong um it spoiler alert if anybody ever watched the last episode of doctor who season 10 Spoiler alert. Um, I also love John Sim, and I was so amazed that he has come back and re like redid his like character as the master because it's such a difference. It's such a difference from from Missy to the thing, and that's what I like about Doctor Who. It keeps reimagining it, but in so so many subtle ways. It's it. I just love it. But I'm really sorry if anybody's watched that bit. <laughs> and this is spoiler. Spoiler alert. So um, that is the concealer done. Um, I do love this concealer, but I'm running out, and basically, <laughs> I went around my makeup and all my makeup's downstairs. So I'm going to be using some different makeup, some different brushes. So let me contour in though, because she's had some wicked cheekbones. Like, um, so uh, the last thing I'm going to be using, just to set my face, um, as again, subtle as I'd say, subtle as fuck then shouldn't be sorry. Um, it's just keeping her subtle, keeping her everything. Um, so it's uh, what I'm going to be. Right. So what I'm going to be using is Fit Me. Grab a brush and just. Right. Okay, so that is the base done, and now I'm going to be moving on to her wicked. Wicked, 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 wicked cheekbones. As I say, she's got some. I mean, Michelle Gomez is like thin anyway, so she's got them really nice cheekbones and that really like mm, thing going on. I'm just going to try and recreate that because my cheeks are like podgy. They're always going to be podgy. So um, again, Technicolor Fix. I'm going to be using that, and I'm going to be going. I'm going to try with my lovely fan brush that I absolutely love. Now I'm going to go for a darker colour, which is uh, this colour here. I usually use that one, but I'm going to go for this one again for them wicked cheekbones, basically. So living for them cheekbones. Like a little bit down there as
Okay, so there's that wicked contour that's going on with her cheekbone. It's a little bit liney, but I, I wanted to get that line, that kind of line. I love that. I think she's amazing. Right, again, I'm going to be going in with this brush here, and I'm going to be using the Victoria Jackson Survival Kit, and I'm just going to use some of these, um, some of these nice pinkies, um, just to give a little bit of a little bit of rosy cheek to, to Missy because she's uh, she's cheeky, she's cheeky. So I thought I'd give her a little bit of cheek. So I'm just gonna go over both of them because I think they're both really nice colours together. I think uh, the peach and the pink contrast really nicely, and they're not super pigmented. However, they do give like a really nice little glow. Again, going natural, go ooh naturally. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my eyebrows on um, and give me two seconds to do that. Eyebrows are done. Okay, so she, um, I don't think she has very striking eyebrows, but I just look stupid without anything on my eyebrows. So I thought I'd just do my normal brow, basically. Um, the next thing I'm going to go in to do is some... I'm going to do my eyes, I'm going to do my eyes, again, very subtle makeup, um, so what I'm going to be using is, again, my old classic uh, model design, um, so I'm going to go in there, um, but I'm not going to put it, I'm going to kind of um, take this one and kind of highlight the, the brow bone, because she has some very high pulled back style, so I'm going to be uh, highlighting that. And I know if anybody saw that close up of my eyebrows, yes, they are absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. It's ridiculous how much my eyebrows are uh, grow. So it's ridiculous how much they grow. So it's ridiculous. So that is what I've used. I've just used that one. I'm not going to go in with the brown because she actually has black, grey type of thing. So I'm going to be using this Primark palette, Complete Face Palette Smoky Collection. Um, I'm not going to go mental on this because it's it's a very subtle like, mm, it's a very subtle mm, to it's a very subtle nod to her smokiness basically. Just uh, that was my big. It's just got like that. So um, this is the palette. It's absolutely amazing. So pigmented. Um, I saw Roxaurus actually do a video on some Primark, and she actually recommended like one of these palettes, not exactly the smoky eye one, but one of these palettes. And I was like, I've got one of them. I've got one of them. They're absolutely brilliant as well. I know exactly. I love it. So um, here we go. So I'm going to take the grey one here, just lightly go in, and start. I'm going to start on, what's it called? The crease! <laughs> Jesus Christ, you could tell it was a rough day at work, can't you? So, uh, right, so I'm going to start on the crease, so, and she has this sort of flick, um, so I'm going to take it down, I'm going to take it out, oh, a little bit more, not a hell of a load, so she's kind of got this little Look, so I'm going to start going on to crease a little bit more, start going on to the eyelid, I want to fan it out slightly, so I'm going to take a little bit more, just tiny amount, as I say this is super pigmented, so I'm literally just like brushing the brush along that and that's all I'm getting, that's all I'm getting and it's just tap it off, super pigmented, beautiful, um, I would recommend them, I only got this palette for £2, so if you're like me and you like a good old cheapy makeup haul, um, go to Primark because I'm absolutely stunned. So there we go, there's the first grey part, as you can see. Right, so there it the, is the grey, um, and what I've done is I've taken it slightly down here on on my bottom lash so I could really give emphasis on the sort of darkness of the eye because she does have ridiculously dark eyes. Now the next thing I'm going to be using is the black one in this palette. Um, again, super pigmented. It literally, it just, uh, it's, it's so pigmented. Oh, it's unreal. So I'm really not wanting to use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So basically what I'm going to do I can't do this like I need like a camera like here 
to like do my uh, do my eyeshadow with. And basically, I'm just gonna take it a little bit darker. Take that crease a little bit darker and up slightly. Okay. A little bit darker, slightly, and slightly more onto the lid as well. Um, I'm making this up as I go along, you know. Yes, loving it. So as you can see, you've got that really. Can you see? You've got that really like just subtle smoky eye, and I absolutely love it. She's. I think she's kind of like famous for the subtle smoky eye. Okay, so there is subtle smoky eye. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just take the lightest shade in this palette um, and just go over the lid a little bit. Just tap it in. I've got really small eyelids. Just notice this. Yep, I'm, I'm just keeping it, keeping it cash with with the smoky eye so there we go so literally that is all I've done I've taken them three there recommending this palette again taking them three there and just absolutely just keeping that little smoky eye so this is the finished look nah no. <laughs> but this is like what, it's fin what it looks like when the eyeshadow is finished I'm really in love with it I'm really I'm really loving her look basically um, so the next thing I'm going to be doing obviously she is uh, famous for her flicks her eyeliner so here we go I'm going to put my um, my eyeliner on and I'm going to come back and go through the rest of the video okay so there is the eyeliner on and so what I've done is I have used the, my eyeliner uh, which is my collection, fast stroke, um, really good eyeliner actually um, and put a great big flick up the top this one I've just poked myself in the eye with so I'm really forgetting about this eye now because it's just gone too shit so this eye, I really can't do this, there you go so this eye I've done a really big flick and then underneath I have done the smoky eyeliner in the water lash um, in the waterline and then a little bit in the eyelash and just smoked it out a little bit and just like uh, let it I usually use my finger and just go like that and just uh, just smoke it out slightly um, I've also put my mascara on I've used actually two mascara excuse me I've actually used two mascaras collection volumizer mascara um, it's okay, I'm not too keen on the brush, but I really like the actual mascara itself. So basically, I use the brush that I like from number 7, Velvet Lash. Um, it, it's really good. I actually bought this when it was new, and it's still going um, about a year later, and I really, really like this. So um, that is the two mascaras that I have put on today. Now, last of all, for the makeup, I am going to be on the lips. Now, again, subtle lip. Um, I'm going to be going in with this colour here, this colour here, which is from my Victoria Jackson, um, yeah, Victoria Jackson survival kit, so basically, I'm going to go on, I've got no liner, because I don't feel like she needs it, again, she doesn't have a bold lip, but she makes a statement with her, um, with her gloss, basically. So there is the lipstick. I really actually like this lipstick. I might start wearing it on a daily basis now. Right, and the next thing I'm going to use is a Barry M lip gloss uh, in like this nice little nude pink. Um, just to go over that colour. Um, so, let's just give it a little bit of shine. And she does have some beautiful lips. I don't have any clear lip gloss. I really wanted some clear. Does anybody get clear lip gloss anymore? I don't know. Now she's not, as I say, she's not over the top, she's not, she is over the top, but she's not um, in your face with your makeup or anything like that, so this is why I really wanted to do a tutorial for her, um, and so this is the makeup look, I really, really like it, I really like the cheeks, but I don't do contour that well, but I really like the cheeks. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is the hair, so I'm just going to uh, prime that, prime that up. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, just uh, getting that ready. Now, this is going to be a really quick hair tutorial to try and get the uh, Missy's look. Now, she is, um, she does do this very sweeping, um, 
it's got curly look, like very like Victorian-esque Mary Poppins style look. But today I'm going to be doing the 10th series look. So basically I'm just going to flatten out my hair a little bit uh, because it is so so thick, so untamed. As you can see, my hair is an absolute train wreck if I don't style it properly. But this is kind of what I want. So I'm really going to go into the roots, give it some volume. If you see stuff flying from it, it's probably um, dry shampoo. So I'm really giving it a good fluff, basically. So what I'm going to do first of all, do is first of all I'm going to take a chunk of hair from the front. There you go. And plait it. So after you've parted it, I'm just going to mm -hmm. do that thing where you just sort of flatten it out a little bit so it can be seen basically. And get a tie. I'm going to use this tie actually. Get a tie and just tie it up. Oh, it just dangles there. <laughs> now I'm going to take the other side of my hair here. I'm going to take a little bit more from the back actually. I'm take too much on that other one there. Just run my fingers through it a couple of times so we'll put it right in. And just again another plait. Now sh I can only see two plaits at the, at the front of her head. So I'm only going to be doing two plaits. Um, if you're a little bit more braver, you can do sort of like that sort of French braid uh, because it, so it goes back into your hair like that way. But for the sake of time and for the sake of me not being able to do a French plait on myself just yet and still practicing, I am going to do it this way. Again, when you get down to the bottom, just give it a little nudge in the right direction and just pull out them strands so they can be seen. Now what you want to do is, <laughs> what is that? Now what you want to do is just take it back. Um, I'm going to take that bobble out and what I'm going to do is I am going to put my hair up in a high ponytail whilst grabbing these. See, look. <laughs> It's best to do it, um, it's best to have that, um, the French plait, sorry, I can't think of the words today, my words are not coming out of my mouth properly, so, but, what I'm going to do, take it up in a massive, massively high ponytail, and just, Pop it up. So you have something like that that can sort of flip forward as well. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to um, get rid of that bit of hair. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point is uh, I, I would have done crimping the hair or anything like that, but I don't have the crimper on me at the moment. So what we're going to do is just going to take a little. Now this this always gets my hair tangled. This always gets my hair tangled. So uh, what I'm going to do? Let's get some hairspray out. I am just going to really basically shower with hairspray. And let's have a go at a little bit of backcombing. Now, again, she doesn't have massively backcombed hair, but she does have it messy. So, messy, messy. Now, I really think crimping the hair as well as doing this would give it a little bit more of a, a better effect because um, she has, does have that sort of curl slash crimp slash I don't know what it is in her hair. So, but I really want it to stand out. Now, obviously, the I hope I'm 
you can film this. Yeah. Okay. Now what you want to do now is just have a play around with it. I'm going to give it a little bit touch more hairspray. And there you have it. Um, so I'm really happy how this has turned out. I feel a little bit, uh, bit mischievous, bit miss, uh, bit missy. So uh, yeah, so if you want to have a go, have a go. Um, I mean, I'm going to a like a sort of Comic Con-y sort of thing uh, at the end of October, and this might be my look. It might be my look. I need to get a back home and write those. Come on, man. come on, back home. Come on, back home. I don't want to go too mental because I've got to take this out. <laughs> But she just really has that sort of messy look that I absolutely love, um, and the the, the the small touches that the, the Doctor Who team has given her are just absolutely beautiful. So them, she really, uh, they they've taken advantage of them really slim cheeks, them really um, that really like wild hair, that personality that she's got, and that has come across through John Sim as well so I really love it so this is the final look I absolutely love it I think I'm channeling my inner missy um, no uh, what, what I would do is a sort of cosplay costume costume I would uh, pair this with um, a, a shirt with possibly a cravat or a bow a bow tie um, and that sort of long Mary Poppins jacket I, I always think she's stemmed from Mary Poppins basically a nasty Mary Poppins so I would really like channel that now if you haven't seen the final episode of Doctor Who go watch it now because you're missing out on some greatness there um, and I'm really looking forward to the Christmas special as well with spoiler the first Doctor um, and um, I've just read on Facebook today that in uh, <laughs> that Peter Capaldi has finally finished filming and the new one has started which is scary as hell um, I'm just thinking we're on our 12th Doctor yeah we're on the 12th Doctor which is absolutely mental I'm just thinking there's not to there's, there's been there's been 13 reincarnations including John Hurt um, but <laughs> Do you know what? I can ramble about this all day. But as I say, uh, this is for these cos you cosplayers out there who want to have a go at Missy and getting into your wild side. And uh, don't forget to like, comment. No, don't do the thumbs down. Like, comment, and subscribe. Click the subscribe button down below. Um, and I shall see you next time. Bye.